Hey, hey, Brian Sensei here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to share a link to your online Microsoft Forms survey so that you can collect responses. Let's check it out. Okay, so first we're gonna head over to office.com. We're gonna click on the app switcher, the waffle, and we're gonna look for the Forms app. There we go. All right, so the first thing we need to do is get back to the form that we created. In this case, it's my School of Rock feedback form. I wanna rock! And before we get our link to the form, first we're gonna wanna look at our settings. So to get into the settings, we're gonna go to the More menu here, and we're gonna click on Settings. So there's some things in here you'll wanna look at. So for example, you can set up a start and end date for your survey. So for example, if I want an end date, so this is cut off, I can go ahead and select the date and time here, and that'll essentially close the feedback form so no one else can respond. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it open. You can also set a time duration, but this is really more relevant for a forms quiz when you're using forms to assess and you wanna set that time duration. Shuffle questions, this also comes into play if you're using forms to quiz students. Down here, you have get email notification of each response. So if you want to be notified every time someone submits to your form, you can go ahead and turn that on. However, just know that if you're getting a lot of responses, that's really going to clog up your email inbox. This option here, hide submit another response. So by default, after someone responds to your survey, they could go right back in and fill it out again. So if you only want one response per person, I recommend that you turn this on. Below that, we have customize the thank you message. This is kind of nice, so you can give it your own flair. By default, after they submit their response, it will simply say your response was submitted. I like to customize this. Okay, and under that, we have allow respondents to save their responses. You can turn that off if you'd like. And then you have allow respondents to edit their responses. I like to turn this on in case they later realize they wanted to adjust their responses. All right, and so those are the settings for your form. Once you've customized all of that, we can now get the link to the form. To get the link, we're gonna click collect responses. Okay, so here you have a variety of ways to get people to your form. Here the default is to copy a link. And here is the link right here. We can go ahead and click copy link and paste it in a communication or on our website or however we want to get that out. You can also click shorten URL. All right, next to that, we have the email option. So here you could actually type in email addresses of the folks you'd like to send this to and simply click send down below. Next to that, we have a QR code. This is nice, especially if you're in a face-to-face -face setting and you're broadcasting this QR code to your audience. They could simply scan it with their mobile phones and take your survey. You could also put this on a website. Next to that, we have the HTML embed code. You can copy this, paste it into your website code, and your survey will be embedded on your website. And then of course we have social media options to share the link. All right, in my case, I'm gonna go ahead and use the standard link and copy this. And now it's copied to my clipboard and I'm ready to paste this into an email or onto my website or through text messaging, social media, etc. All right, in the next video, we're gonna look at how to review the responses once they've come in. If you liked this video, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want to see more of these videos, consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification button so you can be notified every time I post new videos. It doesn't cost you anything to do this, and it will help me keep my channel going. Also, if you have a specific tech tip you'd like me to create, please let me know by completing the form in the description below. And I'll see you on the next one.